what's up guys? So today I'm on the streets of New York with fellow reviewer, newcomer, Simply Put Sets. Oh, e, thank you very much for doing this video. So today we're gonna get Imitsu's thoughts on, it's more of a first impression, but on the house of Baldasserini Ombre. So this fragrance was launched in 2007 and it's classed as a woody oriental. But let's just get into the bottle presentation right now. So what are your thoughts on Baldasserini Ombre? I actually think it smells nice. It's, um, it's sweet. Um, there's. Is, what, is there amber in this? Yes. Well, the, the name Ombre. That's right. Okay. Uh, I definitely can get that, but it's not as. It's not as a resinous amber as okay. I would have expected. More of a sweet amber. Definitely. Is there anything else that you can get out of this? Um, is there a little. Is, is there a leather in there? Um, yes. Can you get anything else, or is that pretty much it? Cinnamon? No. No cinnamon? What spice is that? Alright, so, okay, well, I'll, I'll just break out the, the notes. So, top notes got mandarin, orange, and red apple. Uh, mid is violet and leather. Base is lathamum, amber, vanilla, and oak. So, what I get out of this fragrance is that I get mostly amber with a lot of the apple, and towards the, the dry down, it's more of a leathery, woody base. Uh, what would you use this fragrance for? I would see myself using it more for a casual situation. Okay. Um, All I, right. But I also could wear it for. I would. I would say work and it does come across as somewhat formal to my nose. Um, I also think it's a good night out fragrance. It, how does how's the longevity? Longevity is seven eight eight hours and projection is about ninety minutes. So it's it's not a banger, but. Uh, so you would you would go okay not a club uh, like no. Like a bar. Something, yeah, something like that. Like Going out with a lady, you know. Uh, seasons. What would you say? Oh, fall for sure. Yes, fall, winter. I know you don't think that ages are should be on here. No, but I don't believe in age, age appropriate fragrances. It does come across as somewhat youthful, but at the same time, somewhat mature. You know what? I could describe a fragrance as mature or youthful, but okay. I wouldn't prescribe it to a person. I understand. Who is younger I understand where you come from, but it does come across as somewhat. Uh, mature, mature yeah. but at the same time youthful. Uh, right. I don't see. I don't see a lot of. I don't see a lot of twenty-five-year-old guys disliking it. No. You know? no. But I can also see a lot of 40, 45 year olds liking this one as yes, well. Yes, for sure. So uh, this is actually a cheapie and a goodie. Long. Uh, this actually cost about thirty. So for a one point seven and a three point ounce, you're looking at about thirty dollars online. Uh, that's pretty um, good. Um, yeah, it is good. People's thoughts on this one were sweet and masculine, and the the girlfriend gets a lot of that leather. Um, any final uh, thoughts on this one? I can definitely see it as masculine. It's just I, I really appreciate it. I was, the more I smell it, the better it smells. Oh, sure. I like it. I give it like a uh, maybe a seven and a half out of ten. What would you give? It? Uh, I think that's a very appropriate rate. Yeah, seven and a half is. If I may. Out of the page system. Oh, I would definitely, um, for my page rating, I would have to give this an A. Okay. Yes. But I'll... that doesn't mean that it's like an average fragrance, in my opinion, can lead, can lean either average in a bad way or average in a good way. And I would say this average, this would lean in a good way. But at the same time, this is a first impression. So... For sure. So I would definitely have to wait and see how it progresses. All right, so guys, that's it. We got Simply Put Senses Thoughts. Thank you very much for doing Thank this video. Sure. Guys, that's it. We'll catch you later. <laughs> Bye. Peace.